Hello and welcome to Nova Drift. This is a game that I saw a friend of mine playing on stream and I wanted to go check it out for myself because it just looks so good and flashy. So as you guys can see here, it is a, uh, a neat little, very basic arcadey little game. We have our little ship we fly around. We just try to survive in an arena and if, say, we go to the edge of the screen, we just pop up on the other side. It's great. Now, there are a few good things about this that make it really exciting besides it being super simple super easy and just really relaxing to play uh, it's kind of actually very satisfying very satisfying uh visuals here but if you notice on the bottom where i have the flashy screen bits i've gotten hit so uh, it's gonna hit it's gonna take a hit to my health i have an energy shield and i have an hp bar which is getting kind of low right now but one thing that we can do is we can actually level up. The more we survive, the more things that we destroy, the more goodies we can get. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the level up button here. And the first thing I'm going to want to get is a new weapon. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this salvo here. There we go. And uh, let's see, the next upgrade I wanna get, do I wanna get an upgraded shield? I don't think so. Our, our standard shield comes with 100 shield points and most of the shields, they come at a hit toward shield points overall. Uh, but with the side effect of doing something else. Like for example, while amp is active, while you have shields, uh, you get 20% thrust and total weapon damage. So you just get more damage at the cost of having half shields. And there's a lot of things similar to that, like targets and projectiles within the shield's effect radius are greatly slowed, but you only have 70% shields. So forth, so on. There's a couple of them that are, are stronger, let's say orbital, that gives you 110, but you have basically a larger shield that can take more hits and so forth, so on. There's a couple of other things here. I'm gonna pass on these because the default shield, it come, it just has 100 shields. It's, it's, it's all right all around. So we're going to go ahead and decline this and start working on the next upgrade uh let's see these are different ships that we can choose from now the default ship i mean it's got nothing special for it most of the other ships are better i'm looking for one the research ship is one of my favorites because it lets you kind of pick which which upgrades you want to get but i'm gonna go with the engineer because the engineer gets a larger control limit to units of your own that you can build. And we're going to be playing around at that a little bit here. So let me go ahead and pick this guy up. And now we can actually start picking up our regular upgrades. These are upgrades to weapons and so forth and so on. And oof, this one's actually pretty good. This one gives me plus two upgrades, but slows me down and makes me bigger. Um, I'm actually going to... Am I going to pick this up now? Hmm. Um... Oof. Like, that's really good early, but I can get multipliers if I'm going to be... You know, I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up now. So now we have three more upgrades that we can choose from. And what do we want to get here? Let me go ahead and spend one re-roll to get new things. Let me spend another one because oof. Let me go ahead and pick this guy up. This guy is an allied unit. It's just another unit that flies around and shoots things. Let me go ahead and pick up this guy for some regeneration. And do I want to go max hole? Yeah, we'll go for some max hole here. So we got a few new toys. You see that we have an ally that spawns here. And I still have my default shields. So nothing new on that. But I do have a new weapon. Oh, that's a boss on the field. Yep, you can see he's got the health bar across the top. He's very angry. Let me go ahead and fire another volley of missiles. And boom! Good job. All right, he's he's down. I want to get rid of as many things as possible to collect all the loot gubbins. There we go. Little innards. Give me the shiny little dots of pixels of joy. Okay, so now we got two allies on the field. Uh, let's see, what do we want here? Let me pick this guy up, and I'm going to grab this. This gives me a lot of extra HP, uh, plus 35% base hull, and plus 80% regeneration rate. So I'll be constantly regenerating, and I get one plating, which is just a little piece of armor. It works like StarCraft, where you get you take less damage for every piece of plating that you have. It's just flat damage reduction. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Don't mind me. There we go. So now we've got a large health bar that's constantly regenerating. And no shields, which I'm okay with. we got a couple upgrades just ready to go. Oh, took a hit here, but you can see how my HP is coming back from that. Isn't that nice? Let's go ahead and grab this. Let me get this guy. This will upgrade my, my little allied fighters. It lets them regenerate their HP. And then I'm going to grab this, which... 
gives them a, an HP scaling. So they, they get bigger and tankier as I level up and collect more XP XP orbs here. Oh, no, no touch with your snapping jaws. Give missile. There we go. Problem solved. Let's see, my little allies are going to be doing things. They're really not doing all that much, as you can see. But they're nice to have around. They they try. Uh, really, I'm getting them so I can upgrade them into something bigger and better later. There we go. All right, so let's grab this. Uh, what do I want here? I can re-roll. Ooh, Guardian. Guardian allows these guys to heal. Turns them into dedicated healers, which is quite nice. But I think I'm actually going to pick up... I'm actually just going to pick up this guy. Or do I want to re-roll? Let's re-roll one more time. Evasion is good. Evasion is... Nope, I need this. I desperately need this. This will give me more regen, and we'll see. You'll see why that's important a little bit later. We'll come back to that one. Ooh, bigger, thicker, tankier HP. Don't mind me if I pick that up. So now I've got a really big HP bar. So that the previous, the previous upgrade I picked was kind of a side grade. It reduces my maximum HP by about 15%. But it gives me a huge increase to regeneration, which is quite nice. And, ooh, interceptor. Okay, here we go. Let's pick this up and keep going. So now I've got a really rapidly regenerating HP bar. You can see it comes back real quick. But my HP bar is permanently damaged. So it, it, it is what it is. It is a side grade. And I'm going to be playing around with that side grade. Having it look like this kind of massive regeneration build going on here. But... That's going to be an exciting moment. Ooh, oh, I really want this. I like this banish, but I need I need the turret upgrades here. Just so we can keep things going. There we go. So now now I have another another ally I can put down here. It's a turret. It sits there and does turret things. Now, turrets, they quite good on the DPS chart, uh, but they have a timed life. And the way their life system works is that they spawn with full HP and they just they just slowly lose hp to the to the ether they just lose hp over time uh oh oh that's a big health bar oh that's a big boss all right uh one more upgrade what more can we do here oh boy um let us grab hmm. let's grab this guy oh we get one more that's even better and how about even bigger, better turrets. All right, awesome. So now I'm gonna have my units over here. So this this is an interesting boss. It's actually a really cool boss. He's got the Death Star laser at the front, and I do not want to touch it, but I want to be on the inside where I can hit these little power nodes here and blow these up. There we go. And that deals massive damage if I can hit him from the inside. Thank you. Let me go ahead and just drop a turret in here while we're at it. Good job, friends. Keep it up. Do not touch the central power glowy stuff. All right, there we go. Even better. Okay, so we're we're good. Things are fine. There's so much so much chaos going on at all times. This is this is why I like this game. It's just so satisfying just to chill out and play for a bit. Very casual. Let me drop another turret here and get the upgrades going. All right, this is what I want. So this is why I picked up the regeneration upgrade, even though it cost me my HP. My constructs, my units, benefit from 60% of my regeneration. So if I stack regeneration and I pick this guy up, now my turrets, instead of bleeding out at 5 HP per tick, they're now regenerating 2 HP per tick, which is quite, quite good uh, in that they can now live forever and I don't have to worry about them expiring of their own. Now they can still, of course, take damage, but, you know, enemies are focusing me more than my, my allies, as long as there's not a lot of AoE then they shall be fine. And I can just kind of chill out forever doing things. And I can just hang around, fly around, survive, launch massive volleys of missiles whenever I see fit. It's gonna be great, I'm gonna love it. Let me go ahead and grab another upgrade here. Uh, let's see, what do I wanna grab next? Let me go ahead and get this plus thrust because that's going to help me stay alive. Uh, I'm taking I kind of necessarily have to take a lot of HP upgrades, and a lot of the HP upgrades come with the side effect of slowing you down. So I want to grab some extra thrusters just so I don't end up being a, a thick, thick 
chunk of metal in space that's immobilized that has HP. I want to have HP and can also fly around so I don't I don't get sucked into a black hole or something. That the black holes are a thing. They will suck you in and they they are quite danger dangerous and deadly. You don't want that to happen to you. Go ahead. Turrets. I need to get the upgrades to them so they actually get some massive damage going. Ah, there we go. Double barreled turrets. And now they can really start doing some serious damage. And they're not even fully upgraded yet. Like, I can get them with massive upgrades. And we'll get around to that sooner or later. Uh, let's see. I don't need burst shots. I want upgraded... Yeah, let's give these upgraded wingmen here so they can actually dodge shots. Because they like to get up close and personal on things. What's nice about these upgraded ships is they, they can fire my main gun, which in this case is the rockets. Now, of course, I can change that to be something like a burst fire railgun, which is quite fun. That was actually one of my uh, one of my longest runs. One of my highest scores was a burst fire railgun fired from multiple wingmen. It was a very good time, a very good experience. I, I do recommend it. This time they are firing volleys of rockets. In fact, we have another upgrade available to us. Gonna outmaneuver, we can get tactical link. Let me go with the outmaneuver this time, I think. There we go. Gives them even more dodge. All right, time to just send missiles everywhere. Cleanse the area of all things hostile. Ooh, is that a boss? Oh yeah, big, big HP bar. Boss time, one more upgrade. Ah, this is what I did. Overclock plus 40% damage or fire rate to all nearby constructs. So as long as I stay near my constructs, they will get additional fire rate. Now, of course, I don't want to be inside the, the enemy's uh, radius there, but it looks like my constructs just kind of took it out for me, which is quite nice. Something about having them upgraded and giving them a lot of a lot of extra fire rate makes them do a lot of damage. Who would have who would have guessed? Hello, come spiraling in from the edge of the screen only to slap me. Stop it! I have turrets that will stop all things from touching me. Eventually, they're not quite there just yet. You go ahead. All right, looks like I lost a turret. That's fine. I can rebuild it. it can be rebuilt. Go. We got another upgrade points available to us. Let me grab this guy that gives them basically plus two times uh, primary weapon firing off of those. So they're going to be throwing around a lot more missiles a lot more often. At least, you know, for so long as I have missiles. I'm going to eventually switch out the missile to something a little bit more devastating. Like a railgun, for example. That would be cool. We drop down another turret and have it start clearing out that side of the map. Thank you. Much better. Much, much better. Okay. Get another upgrade here. Force armor. This I like. This just flat 10% damage reduction. I'm going to pick this up first. Because I want to work on my constructs to get them really powerful. And then we'll work on keeping me alive. Come back to that. Come back to that later. Okay, go ahead and Fly around, collect all these XP orbs. Nice. Whoop. Hello, big boy. You look like... Oh, your HP is disappearing. Dodged. It was very fast. There we go. No more big boy here. But we got to level up out of that. That's convenient. Uh, drones. Drones are nice. I should pick up drones at some point. You know what? I don't... I should, I'll pick them up right now. I will pick them up right now, just so I have drones. Drones don't have all that much in the way of DPS. Like, you can build them for damage output, but they're still just kind of chip damage. You can see the, the over here on the right side, they're these uh, just little orbital orbital firing platforms, firing tiny little bullets. Uh, they try they try their hardest, but the reality is they just don't stand up in DPS to a lot of other things. I can get rocket drones. Let me grab this. This will reduce my life, but it will increase their fire rate by a lot, as well as their production, which is quite quite good. You can see, look at look at how fast this single turret is shooting right now. Wait for it. There it is. It's just gonna wipe them all out. It's like I don't have to do anything. Alright, well, now I'm gonna do something about this guy. By that I mean I'm going to run. 
Whoa, he's close. I'm going to get away from that side of the screen by just popping up over here in the bottom left. Oh, he's angry. Go ahead, turrets. Do turret things, please. I'm just going to sit here and dodge. Let, let my turrets handle that. Thank you. They did. Uh, they also exploded and gave their lives for the cause, which is okay. That's what they're there for. I still have the I still have the allies' little wing men here that will clear everything else up for us. There we go. Go ahead. Good job. I love the aesthetic of seeing those just large shooting star type things come around. Okay, what do we have here next? So I can upgrade my rockets, but I want instead to upgrade these guys i do this first i think this is the way i want to go add self-destruct onto my onto my various constructs so when something happens to them they take everything else out with them you know aside from me because friendly fire is off oh, that's another big boy let me toss down these two get around to this corner and let its hp bar go away go on no, no touching. There we go. Good job, team. You did it. And over here. Oh. They're, literally, these things are shooting at targets that are off. The oh, there's another one. Ooh, we're getting to the higher levels now, boys. Boss monsters everywhere. Oof. How that turret survived, I have no idea. Face tanked the, the the boss laser for any amount of time. That thing just vaporizes basically anything that it touches. Except for that turret in particular, apparently. Oh, here comes a black hole. That's, uh... Oh, dear. Turrets, you will be missed. Sometimes they can survive. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. no. I didn't get sucked in. Okay, sometimes they can survive. I think just by virtue of regeneration... They managed to they managed to tank it. It does a lot of damage. It really does. But I think, I think we're going to be okay here. Let me go ahead and grab another upgrade. Let's see. What are my options? I can grab this. I don't really want to grab another one. Because that's going to be another 15% of my maximum hole. Just reduced. Uh, that's a, kind of a bit much. So instead, I'm going to grab a reroll here. Okay, this is what I want. Overseer. Now, this is going to do two things one it's going to double my my construct limit so i can get four of everything instead of just two but it's also going to prevent me from firing my main weapon which is fine because i don't really use my main weapon all that much as much as i'm firing it it's more of i'm firing it because i can than anything else thank you beautiful okay there we go. Come on. And another turret comes out. We're up to three turrets now. Good job, team. Beautiful. We're going to have to resupply these turrets every so often. But for now, we're going to get another upgrade. Uh, let's see. Force armor. Yes. That's just damage resistance for me. So I take less damage overall. And another turret goes down. Up to four turrets. And as long as we stay relatively near them, we should should have a fair amount of damage resistance and massive firepower. You see, there's that boss that we... Yep, it didn't even get to fire its laser. Not even once. It just melted as it tries to get onto the screen. It warps in and gets absolutely obliterated. Welcome to, welcome to the turret ring. Grab another upgrade here. Let's see. We can get some more plating. That sounds like a good idea to me. Oh, there's another boss. I think he's got another health bar. Really big one. But look how fast his health bar, health bar is evaporating. Uh, he did take out several of my turrets. And that's not nice of him. Uh, he took out three of them. I still have my four, my four wingmen. Because they very dodgy, very fast. Okay, and grab another upgrade here. I like how many upgrades you get and how often you get them. They, they, they feel so good. I want this, but more importantly, I want this. Okay. 
drop down another turret here. Thank you. <laughs> I like how I just have an army of everything. At this point, the, uh, the only reason I have the drones really is just to take hits for me, because you can see how they orbit me, and whenever projectiles come, they hit my drones instead of me, and the drones have an extra health pool. It's not all that much health, but it's still more health that regenerates constantly at, you know, 60% of my usual regeneration rate. Uh, there's another one of those bosses, except he's kind of surviving, probably because I didn't have all my turrets out. Probably because the other boss blew them up. Okay. Now we have more turrets available. This is awesome. Oh, dodge. Thank you. So many explosions happening. Time for an upgrade. Alright, what should we do now? Let me go ahead and re-roll here. Mines are cool. I want this because this is an extra 8% full damage resistance for so long as you're near one of my constructs this also works with my construct so really everything i have is now just eight percent more damage resistant which is very nice as we get away from this black hole get away from the singularity no 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 no, no. i'm too thick i can't escape okay barely escaped barely escaped that would not have been good it's a quick way to end the game Oh, here goes another boss. Uh, time for upgrades. So, I want this. Because this is just flat 10% weapon damage upgrade. Now, this only applies to the rocket weapons, the missile weapons. Or at least the primary weapon, which is fired by no longer me, but by my interceptors, my wingmen. Uh, gives them a 10% damage increase, which is quite good because I have four of them. Uh, I don't really think any of the other things here are going to be terribly well worth it. A streamline, I do like this streamline. Uh, this plus 25% thrust, minus 10% size, but it comes at a cost of 10% maximum hull, which I am not about to do. So let me just grab this guy real quick, I think. Go on from here. Usually I like to get, for those who know, I like to get the uh, extra wild mod upgrades before picking up wild mods like that. Just It's just more level efficient, but eh. We'll come back to that. We'll have to do some massive wild mod shenanigans in another video. This one, this one, we're just gonna have some fun with the just a real regenerating turrets and massive damage output. I need to start picking up some primary weapon damage upgrades so we can upgrade our our wingmen's our wingmen with more. This that boss just keeps coming back and it makes me sad. It's gonna laser everything! Okay, it didn't get anything. It damaged this guy for some damage, but not enough to finish him off, and he's just going to regenerate. Thank you. Pick up another upgrade here. Where do we get all these orbs? Nice. Alright, advanced engineering. This will give us advanced drones. Beautiful. We can get some more, more defensive options here as well as more drones overall. There we go. More defensive drones. Nice. All right. I just like seeing the missiles fly all over the place. It's really rather satisfying. Another upgrade comes our way. What do we want here? We get armor stacks. I think this is going to be the way to go. Because armor stacks are good. They, they reduce our damage. And we don't have a whole lot of HP at this point. We're kind of running kind of running a little bit low on the maximum HP. We still have a lot of regeneration. But it's still... It's still something that we want to keep our eyes on, you know, as, as more and more bigger and badder things come for us, we don't want to be slacking on the HP. We want to be the big boss that's that's kind of tanky ourselves, you know? Just because we have a lot of minions to do our bidding for us doesn't mean we don't we want to be entirely useless ourselves. Oh, 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 oh! See, things like that happen, and that could have been really bad. Except I've still got a lot of HP, and it all comes back very quickly. Thank you. Hello. 
Goodbye. Let's see, we can do assault drones. Last stand is good, but I want this guy. Yes. This one is really cool. So this guy allows us to spawn attack drones out of the corpses of our opponents. So the more we destroy, the more attack drones we get. And typically, the attack drones will expire the same way the turrets do, by just having a constant HP drain. But because all of our constructs have a constant HP regeneration due to our, our upgrade, they will live forever and just kind of become the endless swarm. That is, you know, until something destroys them. But things are seeming to have a hard time destroying us because we have so much firepower on the screen at once, things just kind of explode. Good job, team. Oh, oh, that's a big thing. Yep. And it's gone. Nice. Upgrade time. Uh, let's see, what do we want here? Plus 100% armor stack duration. I think that's gonna be good. Deadly wake? Nah. You know what? Let's, let's roll around here a little bit. Let's see what other options we have. We can get defense drones. Let's pick up this guy. I think this is a good idea. So anything else here we really want? Stabilities, cool. Plus 5% thrust. I don't think I need that right now. Let's go ahead and upgrade our drones. Make them nice and thick. Yep, good luck hitting me now through this this wall of drones. Aha! Alright, so we did lose a turret in that. So I'm going to have to get more turrets out. Yeah, I just have so much damage potential. Like, as much as it's it seems like we're stacking defense here, I'm stacking just enough defense to keep our to keep our <laughs> turrets alive, and then just giving them everything aggressively. And the boss got me. And that's how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. I think next time we're going to be doing this, but we're going to stack full defense. Nothing will break through our wall because I will have so much HP, so much shielding, there will be no way to stop it. And if you guys want to see that, make sure to hit that like button. And for now, I will see you guys later.